Tacoma Reads is an all-ages citywide book club taking place right now. Participants can read the selected books and attend author events, workshops, performances, and more. Marisa Buss is the Public Information Officer for the Tacoma Public Library. Marisa, welcome to the show. Thank you, Laura. Again. Thank you. <laughs> Glad to have you back. Thanks. So, Marisa, let's talk a little bit about the books and the event coming up. Um, can you tell our viewers what is Tacoma Reads and how the community mm. can get involved? Absolutely. So, as you mentioned, think about your neighborhood book club, but think of that as across our entire city. Mm -hmm. So we're asking everyone to read together and then gather together to discuss, attend events with some of our authors and some other fabulous programs with community partners. Awesome. And so Marisa, can you tell our viewers what the theme is for this year's event? Yes. So Tacoma Reads each year has a theme. Tacoma Public Library works with Mayor Woodards um, to select the theme. It's usually something relevant to our current lives here in the city of Destiny. Mm -hmm. This year, Mayor Woodard's really wanted to talk about home, the concept of home and the housing insecurity in our own community. Right, right. And and definitely dealing with a lot of the homelessness issue right now. It's, it's very prevalent. So can you also talk about this year's book selections? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So of course we have books for um, three different age levels. Mm -hmm. We have one for kids and families. We have one for young adult and teen. And we have one for adults. So our, starting with the one for kids and families, mm -hmm. this is called Home. It's by an author named Tanya Lippert, who grew up in um, Oregon, so close here in the Pacific Northwest, and she experienced homelessness as a child. Mm -hmm. um, so this is her story about that and how it feels from the perspective of a young child mm -hmm. to be homeless with your family and move from shelter to shelter with a lot of uncertainty. Um, the middle grade book is just a fantastic uh, debut novel by Alicia D. Williams. It is called Genesis Begins Again. It's um, the protagonist is a 13 year old girl. And if you've ever read Toni Morrison's The Bluest mm -hmm. Eye, mm -hmm. it's kind of um, that those themes, that deeply embedded racism and systemic racism through the eyes of a 13 year old girl who's dealing with, you know, middle school, as well as issues within her own family mm -hmm. that caused them to face eviction. So. It's um, very relevant and it's won so many awards. Um, we're really happy to feature it in Tacoma Reads. Okay. And this is a book um, by our main author, um, David Ambrose. Mm -hmm. It is his memoir of growing up homeless on the streets of New York City with his family, as well as entering foster care and the challenges that he faced there, especially mm -hmm. as a young gay man. Um, so this, this memoir is called A Place Called Home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and as we were speaking previously, who better to write these stories and share these stories with our readers than individuals who've actually experienced it. They've walked in the shoes and those shoes and are able to convey those messages in their writing. So exactly. we're, we're glad that they're a part of this event. It's unfortunate what they experienced, but the fact that they came out of those situations and are able to t share their story is mm -hmm. pretty amazing. Um, so with the main branch being closed, can participants check out these books at any local library? Yes, our, so our, as you mentioned, our main library is closed right now. It is getting some fantastic facility upgrades and we will reopen in spring 2024 with just some amazing stuff I can't wait to tell you about <laughs> on another episode. All right. <laughs> um, so while the main branch is closed, um, participants can visit any of our seven other neighborhood libraries. All of those locations are on our website. Okay. We are open Tuesday through Saturday. So check out the schedule and check out the location nearest you. The other great thing about um, a modern library is that you can download these as ebooks, audiobooks, and enjoy them on whatever device you like to. If you like to read a physical book, if you like to read an ebook, or listen to them, they're all available that way. Nice, nice. That's nice to have multiple options, right? <laughs> so final question, Marisa. There are so many wonderful Tacoma Reads events. Can you share more about the main event with the author David Ambrose in conversation with Mayor Woodards that's coming up? 
Yes, that is our main event. <laughs> and so that is coming up Saturday, November 4th okay. at University of Washington Tacoma mm -hmm. in Phillips Hall. Um, it's going to be fantastic. David Ambrose will be here. Um, it starts at 3 p.m. And he will be up on stage um, in conversation with Mayor Woodards, having a sort of a coffee talk conversation about his work and his life. Um, he has a fascinating career. Um, he ended up going to college and then becoming um, a lawyer. And he also is an advocate for foster care policy reform. And he worked at the federal level under the Obama administration. Wow. So um, he's just an incredible person. We're excited to welcome him here to Tacoma. So I'd love for everyone to go to our website and register for this event. It's at tacomalibrary.org slash Tacoma Reads. Perfect. And free event? It's free. Awesome. Yes. Well, I'm glad that David's coming. I'm sure this will be an exciting moment. And we appreciate you coming on the show again and sharing the books and all of the information. And we hope our readers get out there, check out the books, go to the events. And again, thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. All right, Marisa.